In this After Effects video, we're gonna create isometric motion graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So what is isometric motion graphics? The best way to describe it is simply 3D motion graphics. Um, in this video, we're gonna be focusing on a very basic form of isometric animation. Uh, there's plenty of examples of how high end you can get with isometric motion graphics. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing on more just shape element motion graphics, uh, where you can enhance your compositions really quick with a nice 3D touch to it. And before we jump into our tutorial, I wanna say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from. And they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system so you can quickly find the best songs for your video. Also, with purchasing a soundtrack for your next project, each song allows you to choose from the full track, loop sets, and even shorter variations of the song to make sure every song fits the duration of your project. So for your next project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects, and after watching this tutorial, you should be able to create motion graphics like this. And to be more specific about isometric techniques, simply, it's not real 3D. All you have to do is show the characteristics of three dimensions. It doesn't have to be a real 3D object. So essentially, you know, it's a 2D object that has 3D aspects to it and it's going to animate as if it is 3D. Now, if you need help creating motion graphics like this as far as the shapes go, go ahead and check our links in the video description. It'll take you right to our other videos where we talked about how to create these motion graphics. So go ahead and check those links in the video description. So there's two ways you can add an isometric effect to whatever you're doing. One is through shape layers and the other one is through drop shadows. Let's do the shape layers first because that is the best technique. So here's our shape layer and we have our animation in here. We go into the contents and we have all of our work in here. When all of our work is done, what I would do is go to add and add a group and put all of your elements in the side of the shape layer into that group just like this. Boom, there's that. Then what I would do is I would duplicate this group by going up to edit duplicate and we'll come here to the bottom group and we'll come here to add and we're going to add a repeater. And we'll open up repeater one and we can increase the number of copies. It doesn't really matter at the moment. So we'll go into transform repeater one. We will bring down the X position down to zero and then maybe bring it down to like negative like one and then bring the Y position to negative one as well. And from here, what we can do is change the fill color at the top and we can make it a little bit darker. And now if we zoom in here, we're starting to get that feel of, you know, three dimensions in here. So what we can do is increase the number of copies all the way across and we go up to 38. And now this is a very smooth three dimensional object that animates just like that. And this is honestly the best way to do isometric effects is through shape layers. And this is going to be the most smooth way to create an isometric effect using shapes. Now, if you want to do this for text layers, you can right click your text layer, go to create and do, uh, create shapes from text and it'll automatically put it into a shape layer. But if you want to do it through a drop shadow perspective, it's not going to be as you know sharp as this, but it still works if you don't do so many copies. So what we'll do is go to effect perspective and we're going to add a drop shadow. And from here, what we'll do is we'll set the opacity to 100% and we can set the direction to, you know, negative 45 ish and bring the distance down to one. All right. And then from here, go to effect expression controls and we can do a color control, go back to expression controls, and we'll do a uh, angle control. We'll bring both of these controls above our drop shadow, and then we'll alt click the stopwatch for shadow color, parent it to the color control, then alt click the stopwatch for direction, and parent that to the angle control. Now from here, we can change the colors. Maybe I'll select this darker orange that we worked with before, and then we can change the angle back to like negative 45 because it went down to zero. And then what we'll do here is take our drop shadow and we will duplicate it a handful of times. And boom, there is that. Now I want to go too crazy with this because if for some reason it's not as sharp, but you know, if you do a few, it's going to be just fine. I still think the shape layer way is the way to go as far as sharpness goes, but this is simply how you're able to create an isometric effect just using shape layers and title layers. And this also could be applied to you know, your logo layer as well. And when you have all your animation and motion graphics to go, you're able to composite scenes like this together very quickly, just using these isometric effects. So when I do work that's very repetitive and I have to work on other types of projects, which in this case, I use a motion graphic pack called Big Pack of Elements, which has its own user interface inside of After Effects. It has 1850 plus 
elements that I can easily bring into any After Effects project. So for example, if I want to continue on this animation here, I can go to, say, one of the many folders in here, find some shape animations in here. So maybe I want to come here to Shape 4 Mix and find some pre-made motion graphics that are already made for me. So for example, I like this line transition. I can double click it and it will automatically apply it to my composition. And since this is very well set up, I can easily change the colors right here in the effects controls. And also to create a little isometric look here, we have an extrude value. And now we were able to extend our animation just in a few seconds using this pack. And there's over 1800 elements in here. For example, we can look at, you know, different background styles and all the way to title animations that I can add in a second. And once again, I have all those controls over here on the effects controls to do whatever I want. So if you're looking to save time and also enhance your work, so be sure to check our links in the video description. It'll take you right to the big pack of elements, which has these 1800 plus elements for After Effects that you can bring into any After Effects project file. So that wraps up our video on creating isometric motion graphics. If you did enjoy our video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sun Like Film. We post at least two post-production tutorials every single week right here. So hit that subscribe button. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.